As many of you may know who listen to me on a regular basis, you have figured out that I got waylaid at Bass Pro by Bass Pro and spent quite a bit of time there. Oh, I can't believe it, seven and a half hours. Um, but anyway, one of the videos I looked at, you know, just did a quick run through on pistols, some of the weapons there. Um, and I want to just talk real quick about a company. There's a company, SCCY. I don't know what it stands for yet. But I asked the guy about him. I'd seen him in a pawn shop, not a, at a military surplus store, kind of in Bolivar. And they look, they're look, they look like a Glock. They're same kind of design, you know, plastic polymer frame, and look pretty decent, you know, um, like two hundred sixty nine bucks, nine millimeter, not bad. If they're good, you know, if they fall apart when you shoot them, then they're not good. But if they're reliable, durable, and everything, and so I asked a guy at a Bass Pro, I figured he might know something, and he did. He said it's a company out of Florida, and they started out several years ago, and they've been getting better and better and better, or bigger and bigger. He said one of the uh, one thing about them is that they will they warranty the pistol, no question. I mean, if it breaks or whatever, they either replace it, send you a replacement, or fix it. You know, if it's fixable quick and whatever, they 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 refurbish it and send it back. So, um, well, I said, well, that that's probably why they're growing so fast. So anyway, SCCY, don't know what it stands for. Uh, you get them in turquoise, pink frame, black. Brown, green, probably. I don't know. I don't know how many colors, but I'm pretty sure I've seen. I know I've seen turquoise, black, obviously, and pink. I'm pretty sure. So anyway, they look pretty darn good. They're they're small, you know, concealable, def definitely. So I'm I'm thinking about I've got thinking about it, and you know. Um, so anyway, then you know we're we're dealing with things like you know you know jerseys from the People's Republic of Illinois, and. Uh, Margo called me her uh, fit top. My fit top, my friend in the Ozark Plateau. So I called her, you know, my friend in the People's Republic of the State of New York. People, you know, <laughs> anyway, figure that one out. My F, uh, I, I, anyway, Republic, P R O S S O N Y, State of the New York. Anyway, so People's Republic of Illinois, People's Republic of, uh, you know, uh, New York, because of the gun laws, obviously. So, you know, the question is, you know, you want to get something that's a, a reasonable weapon. So, so uh, anyway, being a prepper for the last couple of years, you know, Jersey was going back and forth, going back and forth, you know, struggling with that and try, trying to find stuff, you know, try to order this, try to order that, you know. So she managed to get a collection of, you know, knives and machetes and stuff. And when there's a, a lot banging on the door in her apartment there and kind of figuring it might have been a somebody that meant to do her harm, you know, she's looking at what kind of weapons can I get. So one of them was, uh, you know, it's like kind of a Mad, Mad Max toy, but you know, crossbow. And this one is kind of cool because you just thunder. <laughs> you know, you just cock it by breaking it. Okay. <clears throat> Something's got to release. I forget what it was. All right. I had it one time. Yeah. And you put the little bolt in there. So, you know, and this is just a, I just call it a toy, you know. Yeah, it's a weapon of sorts, but, you know, very slow and blah, 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 blah. It's not, not a weapon. So, and I got to unload it now, so. Safety. I know. That's one problem with it. You know, how do you use it? So, anyway, that was one problem. One 
option. You know, think about it, that very slow. Knife, machete. You don't have to reload them. You don't never gonna run out of bullets. So anyway, I, I, with my concern for her safety and her capability to defend herself, I just had to touch on the fact that I, I went ahead and bought her. She's sleeping. A gun. I got her a gun. I told her, I bought you a gun. You did? You did? I said, yeah, I did. did. Oh, by the way, did you know that flies are enemies because they're one of the biggest disease carriers in existence? They carry bacteria that cause typhoid, tuberculosis, and other diseases known and unknown to man. One fly can carry over 33 million disease-causing microorganisms on the inner and outer surfaces of the body. There's 87,000 different fly species. The fly is one of the fastest flying insects. Um, they feed on filth, reproduce on filth, decaying matter, water, and even known to lay eggs and live flesh like open cuts and sores. One successful hatch can be well over two million other flies. One season can breed as many 25 generations at 22 million a pop. <gasps> a fly can be dangerous without biting. So let's all combat these dangerous germ-carrying insect invaders and defend ourselves. We have to have self-protection. And so I bought her a gun, something she can train with and, and you know, work toward uh, being better prepared to be able to defend herself. Bam. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. Yeah. Get yourself a gun. It's capable of... Defending yourself again. I mean, what prepper should not have one of these? You know, I mean, and you can practice, you know. Number one, you never, never point a weapon at something unless you intend to, you know, shoot it. Unless you intend to pull the trigger. And if you intend to pull the trigger, you should be intent on hitting what you aim at. And if it's a fly or a, you know, a, two-legged predator or four-legged predator, you should be able to and intent on eliminating it somehow or another. That got curled up in there. Yeah, speaking of that, I was outside in the van talking to Margo, and um, the dog that bit me, yeah, this is the thing about feral dogs and predators and stuff. You know, the neighbor has a mutt dog that they didn't feed, so... Jersey's been feeding it. Well, guess what? The dog that ripped my leg open is coming up for freebies now. He's trespassing. S S S. I'm not going to do that. But, you know, it's their dog, and he's a neighbor. Good, you know, good, real good neighbor. But you know, just say, hey, you know, uh, you can't tell them to keep it chained up. Anyway, it was interesting. Yeah. So I yelled at it, didn't say anything. I said, hey, get out of here. And it took off. So it knows it's not, it's, it's on, it's not on its own property. So, all right. A uh, little cayenne or something would be, you know, everybody should have their cayenne. You know, like I said, if it's only just a little, uh, little saber, every, every, every woman should have some. And I'm, I did a video on it. Watch the video on it at Bass Pro. Um, the big canisters, there's two, nine ounce and seven ounce, two seven ounce for 79 bucks and a, uh, nine ounce for 39, I think. But just something like this is better than nothing. So, okay. Do not carry it in a mesh thingy because can you, that's not cool. Being in that mesh thing, rotated it. And it's ready to fire right now. All that needed was just the slightest little depression on that, and I would have gotten a... I would have had uh, some spice on my food, possibly in my face. It's supposed to be like that. So hard to get light to. I think everybody knows that that rotates around. You know, you know which way it's going to fire. The high side is the firing, and then you rotate that around to that little hole that's exposed. That was ready to fire. Woohoo! Yeah. 
flashlight. Strobing light will blind somebody with night vision. That's a, that's a weapon. That's night vision. The red is night vision. It allows you to see without ruining your night vision. Light is weapon. A light is weapon. A good light is a good weapon. Repeat after me. I just found my other song. A night light is a weapon. Okay, seriously. That thing was in a mesh bag. That needs to be in the case that it came in, which is here. A lot safer to transfer. Catch it on my clip and then do it again. Anyway. Uh, there's a lot of things that are weapons, and there's force multipliers. I want to talk about that. One of them is night vision. So, all right, this is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you're the remnant. 